Hey everyone and welcome to Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now some of you may know it already, but I'm not only a video editor, I'm also a photographer. And like most photographers, I retouch the portraits that I shoot in Adobe Photoshop. Getting rid of pimples, smoothening skin, dodging and burning the face so it has more contrast and depth, and of course, whiten the teeth. And this got me wondering, is there a way to do this in Premiere Pro? Well, yes! So let's jump right into Premiere and make ourselves beautiful. Now let's drag our footage in Premiere Pro. I took a shot of my girlfriend here, who is already really pretty, but let's retouch her face so she's even more beautiful. Now first up, let's whiten her teeth. I know that most people don't have perfectly white teeth, unless they are fake of course, but it's always nice to see yourself with white teeth on a photo or video. So let's select our clip and head over to the Lumetri color panel. If you don't have this, then go to the window and select it from there. Now once you're in the Lumetri panel, go to the Curves tab. Then open the Hue Saturation Curves and with the Hue versus Saturation Curve, use the Pick Whip tool to select the color of the teeth. Normally this should be somewhere in the yellow area. You'll see three points. Now drag the center point down and this should already change the color of your teeth, making it less saturated and therefore more white. Now you can also do the same with the U versus Luma curve to lighten it a bit. But what if this selection also targets the hair or other parts of your shot? Well, no worries, simply head over to the effect controls panel and within the Lumetri effect, we'll use the pen tool to make a custom shape around the mouth. Now go to the beginning of the clip and drag that mask. Also feather it a bit once that's done. Now it will only apply the recoloring to the mouth and nothing outside of that mask. Super useful. Okay, next up, as you can see, she has beautiful eyes, but I want to make them pop even more. So let's place the Lumetri effect on our clip again, and this time I'm going to make a mask around her pupil and track it. Make sure you're in the beginning of your clip when doing this, of course. Now, if the person in your shot blinks, this will create a problem for the tracking, so you will have to adjust that manually, but I already covered that in another tutorial which you can find the link to in the right corner up here. Okay, now once the tracking is done, let's go to our basic correction tab and add a bit of contrast, exposure, highlights, whites, and let's lower the blacks a bit. And maybe add a bit of vibrance, saturation, and sharpening from the creative tab. Now copy and paste the Lumetri effect, delete the mask, and make a new one for the second eye. Track it, and voila! Now our beautiful eyes are popping. Next step, removing pimples and imperfections. And this is super simple. If you have a spot or a pimple, just drop the Gaussian blur effect on your clip, make a small mask around the spot or pimple, feather it a bunch and track the mask. Bam, it's gone. Just like Spider-Man in Avengers Infinity War. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Now here is our final retouching effect. We're going to smoothen the skin and dodge and burn it so it has more depth and contrast. First, we're going to select our clip and head over to the Lumetri panel once again. Head over to the HSL secondary tab and with the Pick Whip tool, select the color of your skin. Now click on the color gray checkbox to see the selection you're making and adjust the hue, saturation and light slider until you've selected all the skin parts. Then blur the selection and unsharpen it a bit and raise the saturation slider just a tiny bit. Now don't forget to turn off that selection box. And then in your timeline, duplicate the clip and delete the current Lumetri effect on the top one. We're going to apply a new Lumetri effect to it and desaturate the entire clip. This will leave the clip black and white, of course. Then we apply the Gaussian blur effect to it, set it to around 25 and check the repeat edge pixels box. Then set the blend mode of the clip to soft lights. And bam, this is already looking good, but it's not perfect yet. So let's head back to the Lumetri and adjust the curve of the clip until your lighting is perfect. And voila, here we have smooth skin and depth in the highlights and shadows of the face. Now if you like this video and want to learn even more about Premiere Pro, then have a look at our dedicated classes on Skillshare. For real guys, this is not an advertisement, it's just me telling you about a great way to learn so much in a short amount of time. And the best part is that with the link below you have two weeks of free access. So that means two weeks of free learning. There isn't even a school that provides free teaching for like two weeks. So just head over to that first link in the description below and start learning all there is to know about Premiere Pro, After Effects, filmmaking and so much more. I'll see you guys next week for another tutorial and another live stream. And as always, stay creative.